So in this video, we'll just uh, check how to download the PyCharm and install it on your systems. So there are two kinds of PyCharm uh, IDs that are available, which is professional, uh, in which professional you can integrate uh, SQL or uh, HTML or any other uh, tools you can be integrated into the PyCharm uh, professional. But in the community edition, it is a freeware. Uh, you don't have all those options, but you can just directly uh, download the PyCharm community edition and you can use for the freeware. And you don't have the compatibility of the remaining tools. So if you scroll it down, you can just check. So PyCharm Professional Edition and PyCharm Community Edition. So what are all the support things you can see? It has a web development support and it has a Python web framework that can be integrated and a Python profiler that can be integrated. So all these things can be integrated. But whereas the community edition, you don't have all these integrations onto the uh, PyCharm version, right? So now you can just download this and uh, install that. So now it is being downloaded. You can just check it is a 490 MB uh, that is being downloaded onto the. So now after it is being successfully downloaded, you can just go and install the PyCharm community. So now a pop up screen will be initiated. Click on next. So 1.5 GB is the space required and the available is 21.4 GB. It's okay. So create a desktop shortcut and update uh, uh, open a folder as a project context menu create associations as dot .py anything will be saved as a dot .py so add bin folder to the path so it with environment, uh, environmental variables that has been associated with the windows OS so I have integrated that onto my bin folder and install everything so everything will be installed so I'll uh, reboot it later let's click on finish now we will just check it on uh, where it's been installed uh, onto our system so it is a pc by charm so this is the way it is installed on the pc you can just confirm it continue don't assign the non-answer statistics yes so now we will create a new project so the environment used is here and uh, base interpreter it is in okay we are taking it from online so not don't worry but if you have in your system also you can just uh, go to that particular location and just you can integrate but now we are using from the online uh, virtual environment yes uh, now just create a main script so now we will just check after the integration of the python interpreter from the online python website so finally we are configured the python ide like java has that eclipse environment on netbeans this is pycharm for uh, python so we are integrating it so python 3.9 has been installed from that particular location of uh, website python and 3.9 is being installed so finally it got installed uh, python 3.9 so now you can see it's a basic uh, Python program what is present on the screen in which we are trying to call the uh, special variable that is the name and if it is equals to main then it will go and it will try to call this function which is print underscore he so then that function will be outside uh, uh, the if statement what we are seeing that is print he of name so we are carrying that name as pycha so finally it will print f of print he of name so which is uh, the he pycha so that is output that we will obtain you can just keep run main So now after installing the Python 3.9 interpreter, you can just check whether it is properly configured or not. You can see here Python 3.9 the interpreter is properly configured. So the uh, Python interpreter is present in C users or techie PyCharm projects in this particular location. So after that, you can just click on this and uh, you can run this, run main. Then you got this he PyCharm, which is exactly uh, what we are expecting from this. Program. So this is a basic fundamental program. 
and after this we will go on to the next modules of the python thank you